Shohei Otani is a free agent. He can pitch and he can hit and he can do both of them really well, but he's not healthy, but he's still the most sought after free agent in the game. And a couple of publications feel like the Cubs could be a dark horse in the Otani sweepstakes. We're going to talk about that and other guys who are available star players that the Cubs could be in line to get. Thanks to Marcus Stroman's opt out and Jason Hayward finally, finally coming off of the books. There's $43 million right there in itself a year for a possible Shohei Otani. We're going to talk about that right here on the Cubs baseball channel. I'm Mick Gillespie. Thanks for being here. And let's talk some Cubs. All right, guys, let's talk about Shohei Otani and what that might mean to the Cubs as they move forward here into the GM meetings and then the uh, uh, obviously the free agent offseason. Uh, $43 million is a lot of money. Uh, they're saying that Shohei Otani could end up with a contract worth about $500 million or more. Why is that? money that if you're at the Cubs, you might feel like it'd be worth spending. Well, first off, he's a great hitter. I mean, a power hitter, uh, played hurt. He did have surgery to repair his elbow, and I don't know how that's going to affect his bat. But when he's when he's healthy, he's great. And he was hitting after he got injured as a pitcher. So, you know, it's going to take about a year to get him back as a pitcher. But when he's, like I said, healthy, there's he's like having – the Japanese Babe Ruth, which is what he came over as. If you're the Cubs, you're, you're going, okay, one thing that the Cubs have that the Angels didn't have, and I'm going to talk about the other teams that I think are going to be in this mix, but the Cubs have this big brand, and the amount of money that the Cubs would make off of Otani merchandise will definitely help pay for the Otani price tag. Not that the Cubs need a whole lot of help getting people into Wrigley, but Otani mania in Chicago would be off the charts. Be unbelievable. Do I think the Cubs are going to kick the tires on Otani? Yes. Do I think that he'll consider the Cubs seriously? I do. And I think having Seiya Suzuki there and you, Darvish, who played for the Cubs and told Suzuki, hey, you'd love it there. The day games give you time with your family. The city's awesome. That's going to help out as well. And I think Otani, after spending time with the Angels, is going to want to go somewhere that baseball matters. That could be L.A. But he played for L.A. Well, no, he played for the Angels. Anaheim. California, Los Angeles, whatever they want to call it. But the real L.A. team, as far as the um, the media market goes and the fans go, is the Dodgers. And I still think that the Dodgers are the team that's going to end up getting Otani. I think that he's going to prefer to stay uh, on the West Coast. There's a, a, a great Japanese community in uh, California and in the L.A. area. Not that that's not available in Chicago, but you know, having lived out in California for a while, um, one of the really cool things there is that the the amount of uh, diversity in that area and, uh, you know, and I'm sure that helps him a lot, you know. Uh, they'll have the money and the resources. And it's always felt like it was setting up for the Dodgers to end up getting Otani. But I think the Craig Council move by the Cubs also catches the attention of guys like Otani, because you're going, hey, how cool would it be to go there and win? Yeah, it's not going to be like 2016, but it still would be awesome. So keep an eye on that. And I was surprised when I saw uh, th that they were making odds on this. I believe it was, uh, I, I want to say it was John Heyman. Um. But they were making odds like what the odds were that Otani would end up with the Cubs. And they're, they're long odds, but they're still in the top 10, right? So it's like one, one to 20 odds that 
you know, he feels like um, Otani could could go to the Cubs. Uh, so after this Craig Council move, who knows? I think that it just kind of there's always that dark horse team, and the Cubs have that money from the Hayward deal and Stroman. I know the Cubs need a pitcher, and I, I, I they, they'd love to get some more help in the bullpen. And obviously, they'd love to sign Cody Bellinger. Maybe they, they trade for Pete Alonzo from the Mets or Juan Soto. And if you could get Juan Soto on a, on a sign and trade, you know. And, and the Cubs not offering um, Jonathan Perlaza still stuns me. And maybe that's because they feel like they have so many outfielders that they didn't need him. Or maybe I'm just missing something. Maybe, I, I, I don't know. I've tried to find anybody that but looks like he's a free agent, a minor league free agent, and I'm expecting someone to get him soon. But, you know, they have so much talent that they don't know what to do with it all. And uh, eventually these guys are going to force themselves onto that major league roster. You know, so that could impact free agency as well. I mean, if you feel like, hey, we got we got some guys that are going to help out in this spot or in this spot, then, um, you know, maybe you, you you don't make a move and, and you save it and make another move. But the they're only going to make – they're only going to get a couple guys. If, you know, I mean, if you, you go out and you get Bellinger to come home, come back and sign a long-term deal, it's not going to be a whole lot of money out there to go get Bellinger and Otani. You know, if if you trade the Mets and you get Pete Alonzo to make it worth it, you need to get him signed. Same thing with uh, Juan Soto. You know, you can make the trade and give up the players to get him, but you still got to get him signed or, or it's a waste of your time and prospects. And then, you know, do you have the money for that? Um, I know a lot of you guys have talked about Austin Nola and Blake Snell as possible replacements for uh, Marcus Stroman. Sources are telling me the Cubs have no interest in re-signing Stroman. None. It's not going to happen. So him opting out, just kind of one of those deals, and they'll find other avenues to uh, to replace him in the rotation. Uh, but that's where we are right now with this. I I feel like it's a risk to take Otani because the guy just had Tommy John surgery. You know, how's the bat going to play? You're not getting the pitching. You know, is it, are you, you know, what, if you're trying to win now, I mean, are you going to wait around for him to get healthy? You know, is, is that the direction that, th- that you're going to go or are you okay with him? Is he going to be able to bat? Just a lot of question marks for that kind of money. But with that said, when he's playing and he's healthy and it, he'll eventually be healthy again, uh, he's great. I don't think you're going to get a discount because of him being banged up, right? Like, hey, I'll, I'll give you, you know, the first year you can have me for $20 million. But next year, you know, <laughs> I just don't think, I don't know. I think that somebody's going to pay him and they're going to say, hey, you just get healthy and when you're ready, we'll be ready for you. And I don't know that the Cubs are the right destination for that. And I think a lot of us would 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 love to have Cody Bellinger back. And, and those two are going to be the two most sought after players in free agency. Uh, but if the Cubs did sign Otani, you think that the Craig Council news sent shockwaves? <laughs> Watch out. All right, we'll be keeping an eye on that and everything else. If you're not part of the channel, I want you to be part of the channel. Make sure that you guys like and subscribe and hit the bell. And don't forget, right now, this channel, the Cubs baseball channel, is presented by their Double A affiliate, the Tennessee Smokies. They won their first championship in 45 years, and they want you to go pick out some new swag, smokiesbaseball.com backslash store.